Hello guys, today I will do a thrust test on these two motors. So these are the motors of DYS company of G series. This is D3536 1000 kV motor. And the other one is D3530 1700 kV motor. So this motor is quite big. It seemed quite small on the website. But if you see this, it is very big and heavy. No doubt the build quality is very good. The rated thrust of this 1000 kV motor given here is 1160 grams and its weight is 102 grams. So let's check whether this specification is correct or not. And yes, it's absolutely correct. So this 1000 kV motor gives us a thrust of 1160 grams, but its price is approx 1550 INR. That's approx $19. And this 1700 kV motor is comparatively small, actually small in length only, however the diameters are same. As per the chart, the 1700 kV motors gives a thrust of 1240 grams and its weight is mentioned 74 grams. Approximately it is correct. This motor costed me around 1350 INR, that's approx $17. But this standard motor A2212 costed me 450 INR, that's approx $6. That means these two motors are 3 to 4 times costlier than this one. So we'll see in this video whether it was a correct decision to purchase these two motors or we can work with this one also. And its weight is around 52 grams, so weight is also comparatively less. I have already done a thrust test on this one, so you can go above and click on the i button. It's a very detailed video. So let's begin. So this is the test trick by which I used to test all my EDFs and motors. I have already made a video on this one too, so you can see it by clicking on the i button. So I am currently using 80 ampere ESC in this. For our current motor recommended ESC is of 50 amperes. And this is our watt meter which gives the power, ampere, current and voltage readings. And this one is a servo tester which helps in throttling. I have designed a new connector and 3D printed it as well. So this connector is for DYS series motors because as you can see these two holes are at a distance of 25 mm while these two have a distance of 19 mm. But the smaller motor has a distance of 19 mm and 16 mm. So for this one I have designed a new connector. First I will do a thrust test of 1000 kV motor. So I will use nuts and bolts of M3 sizes. So these are the M3 size bolts of 8mm length. So here it is recommended to use a 10 or 11 inch propeller. Since I don't have an 11 inch one, I will use this 10 inch propeller. This won't fit here since the diameter of this shaft is comparatively bigger than the propeller. Usually these 10 inch 1045 propellers are made for A2212 motors, but the diameter of the shaft is quite big. So what I'm going to do now is drill the diameter in the propeller. As you know we have to do the thrust test. So its diameter is approx 7.68 mm. Now I will drill a hole of 8 mm diameter in this propeller, then it will get connected. I have drilled the hole. It has now 8 mm diameter and this is the older one. You can see it's already a little bigger than what it is used to be. Although I have drilled in it, there may be a slight vibrations in it. By the way, the connectors of these motors also come for these normal propellers, but the connector I have is of 8mm.
I will start the thrust test now. First of all, I will check its ideal thrust using this spring balance. Ideal thrust is the amount of thrust it takes for the motor to lift this arm horizontally. So it's approx 220 grams. And I will note it down. Now I will fix this spring balance here. The spring balance will calculate the thrust. So I'm gonna use this 8000 mAh LiPo battery. It's a 3S battery. Let's check its voltage. And it's almost fully charged. It's vibrating a little so let me add some weight. So I have added a brick on it so it won't vibrate. Now I will wear my safety goggles because the propeller may come out anytime since it's a friction fit. So using this propeller we got a thrust of 1005 grams and when we add the ideal weight of 220 grams we got 1225 grams of total thrust and efficiency is thrust upon power and here we got the efficiency of 4.55 which is quite good for this motor If we look at the thrust chart the rated thrust here is 1160 grams for 1000 kb motor so it's exactly the same Now I will swap this battery with the 4S battery. So I tested using this battery as well. Here I got a lot of thrust. The optin thrust was 1640 grams and the total thrust we got is 1830 grams, which is quite a lot. And I got the efficiency of 3.49. So I will draw a well detailed conclusion of this in the last. Now I will swap this motor with this 1700 kV motor. First of all I will test this 11 volt battery. So using a 1700 kV motor we get a thrust of 1550 grams and after adding the ideal thrust we got 1770 grams which is quite a good for a 3S battery but the efficiency is very low that is 2.7 because it consumed 614 watts
Now I think what will be the thrust at 4s battery as it already gave 1770 grams at 3s. I hope the propeller doesn't come out again. Because of its high thrust, the propeller doesn't suit this friction fit connector. That's why it's recommended to use a bolt and nut connector. I will run this for a little time as I'm afraid of this propeller coming out. I ran it for a very short time because the thrust was so much that the brake could not bear its turbulence. So it's quite risky. However, I have calculated the readings. I will share the observation now. By the way, I was able to see the last thrust till 1990 gram only, but after that it became crooked. So now I am taking the risk once again. Let me add some weight so it doesn't move. But this is the last time I am going to do it. I won't test it again as it is quite risky. Even now I took it up to 90% throttle and then it started making too much noise so I reduced the throttle. Now I will share its data with you. So I have calculated its thrust using a 4S battery. The obtained thrust is 2080 grams and our total thrust by adding the ideal weight is 2300 grams which is too much for this motor but at the same time it has consumed too much current of 70.54 amperes. Its efficiency is 2.35 so it is least efficient but gave the highest thrust. Now I will give you the conclusion. So guys we have calculated the thrust test and here are the observations. Let's start with the 1000 kV motor. In the specification chart it is mentioned that 1000 kV motors gives the thrust of 1160 grams with a 10 inch propeller. But here we got a total thrust of 1225 gram which is quite similar to 1160 grams so it is more or less the same. The efficiency that we got is 4.55 and it consumed 260 watts. 4.55 is the best among all 4 configurations. So this is the most efficient one with a 3S battery. Now when we connected this with a 4S battery, no doubt the thrust was too much. We got the thrust of 1830 grams, but the efficiency is quite less of 3.49. So we have to see how we have to use this motor. Let's talk about the 1700 kV motor. No doubt it was very fast and in the second configuration when connected to a 4S battery it produced a lot of thrust and the whole thing moved. So when connected with a 3S battery as per the specification this motor gives 1240 grams. However it gives the value when used with 9 inch propeller. But here I have used a 10 inch propeller so it gives very high thrust of 1770 grams. But I test these motors in extreme cases or push its limit. It consumed 70.54 amperes with 4S battery and produced 2080 grams which is quite a lot. That's why my 80 ampere ESC could withstand it. You can see it is clearly mentioned to use 50 ampere ESC for up to 9 inch propellers. If we go above it, it will draw more current than 50 amperes. So in this case it drew current of 70.54 amperes. Here we got the efficiency of 2.35 in 4S battery. And in 3S we got 2.87. So here our thrust test is completed. Now let's talk about the price. So this costed me around $19 and this one around $17. And this A2212 is approx $6. You can notice this 1000 kV DYS motor is approx 4 times its price. And this 1700 kV is almost 3 times more. And this A2212 motor gave only 500 grams of thrust. So I noted it here, it gives a thrust of 530 grams at an efficiency of 4.34 with 10 inch prop and efficiency of 4.59 with 8 inch prop. So it was most efficient at 8 inches. But what the use of it when we didn't get that much thrust? If we make a drone with this 500 grams, it can only go up to 2 kgs. And let's keep this 1700 kV motor aside since we have to run it with 80 ampere ESC. Now we will talk about this 1000 kV motor. It performed quite well and gave an efficiency of 4.55 which is quite similar to that of A2212 motor. The maximum thrust it gave was 1225 grams. So we can definitely use this motor. So we have tested the thrust of both these motors and also compared it. So as per the specification chart you can decide whether to use it or not. Price is also a factor here. So my next project is to create a ducted fan using these motors. So here is the casing by which the ducted fan will be created. 
it will be with both single and dual propellers so stay tuned guys for it and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this test you can also ask in the comment section thank you guys for watching it